Good day, judges. I'm Gabriel from Sunshine Consulting. These are my partners, Ryder and Ryan. I'm here to present you class, Case Clash 2022, sorry. The Garden Dilemma. Sorry, again. As you can see here, our primary problem we've identified is that the upkeep of the animals is very expensive. Our secondary problem consists of making the garden center profitable. Our solution, you ask? Easy, floral van. The floral van will traverse both Cobbs and Calgary, looking for hot spots of customers that we can either attract back to our business or sell flowers on the spot. And we'll put advertisement on the side of our van. So even when we're not at any of these hot spots, maybe somebody will spot the advertisement on the way to work or at home. So, when analyzing the case, we found that the location is obviously a great strength, being right next to Cobb's Adventure Park. Customers leaving will, will go into the garden center just because they can, and they'll see some flowers and they'll pick them up. And we have the backing of Cobb's who are funding the start of this business, so they're providing money and things like that to open it near them. And the opening time, so we're open every day other than Monday, which is convenient for people who, want, who work weekdays, so they can come in weekends and pick up flowers. And the weaknesses, so the cost of animals, so this obviously causing the main problem, so we have to keep funding them, feeding them, providing them a home. And the limited experience, being an animal rescue, we obviously only have so much experience doing business and a garden centre isn't one of them. So we'll hope to mitigate that. And the external, so being next to Cobb's Adventure Park, we're going to appeal to younger audiences. And holidays like Valentine's Day are obviously aimed towards younger people as well, so when advertising, we can look towards that. And the customers from Cobbs are going to leave the park and come in. So, with threats, so during certain seasons, we may not be able to obtain certain flowers, so we won't, we won't necessarily be able to provide demand all the time, which other flower shops may be able to. And again, with that, there's already established garden centers in Calgary, many in fact, so we'll be competing with them directly. Um, Calgary's exotic pet population, which again is causing the main problem. Our first option is student volunteers. Enactus has already donated student volunteers to our plan, but we plan to go further and to gather more student volunteers. We will send a representative to high schools, colleges, and universities to advertise volunteer service to a Goddard Center. The pros of volunteers is there's a, uh, there's a lot of volunteer students willing to work to gain experience. Plus, volunteer students will help us save money as they are not required to be paid. The cons of volunteer students is that they are inexperienced and they're only mass of them are able to work on weekends. Option two, seasonal advertisements. Seasonal events such as Valentine's and Memorial Day. We will, we will advertise through social media and billboards in the community of Calgary and, and expand further out. Advertisements will involve, involve events such as Valentine's, Memorial Day, Christmas, and even more. The pros of such advertisements, of seasonal advertisements, is will increase revenue during these events. Sadly, the cause, cons of seasonal advertisement is revenue may potentially go down during non-seasonal events and the expense of starting up advertisements within the, within the city of Calgary. Our third option is a floral van. Like an ice cream truck, we'll commute around the city of Calgary, selling, delivering, and advertising the garden center. A floral van is a great way for us to advertise the garden center, gain potential customers, and increase the revenue sales around Calgary. Sadly, the cons of such, uh, of such a vehicle and van is the uh, expense of uh, of gaining a van and customizing to be able to hold and advertise flowers. Another con of such a vehicle is the maintenance. We plan on taking a reused vehicle and the maintenance will be weekly, monthly, and yearly. 
Based on the decision matrix, we decided that uh, the best option to go for would be the flower, the flower van. As it's able to advertise within the city of Calgary, it's able to uh, produce revenue, uh, revenue for the garden center, and it's able to work year-round within Calgary. Okay, so when budgeting this, we found that a good starting point is 4,000, 10,000 for the van, because Calgary obviously has a lot of people, meaning hopefully the used vans will be fairly widely available. And the remaining budget for that will go towards actually renovating the van to make it fit for carrying flowers. And if we're going with all the options, then student volunteers is minimal cost because staff and all that, we just need to send them to high schools, colleges, and universities where they can advertise the program. And for the seasonal advertisements, we average a budget of 2,000 to 5,000, so that can go towards social media and billboards and pamphlets and things like that. And the flower van, I said before, is 10,000 to 20,000. And if you want other examples of potential flower vans, there's the link in the corner which you can view after the presentation. Okay, on to our implementation of our flower floral van plan. Okay, for our first month, we plan to acquire the vintage van. There's, as my partner previously said, there should be a vintage van in Calgary, and if not, we are willing to go to other cities in Alberta, such as Edmonton. As you can see here, representatives will begin surveying the park, looking for the best possible routes. As I previously said, we're looking for hotspots of customers, people that want bedding flowers or want our products in general. And as you can see, pre-ordering materials needed just to keep, make sure that we have all the flowers needed, even if we have a bunch of an impulse of buys or don't have a lot of buys. As you can see here, third, fourth month, renovations are completed. We're giving ourselves a lot of time to finish renovations. We want the van to look nice. We want it to be well made so that people look at it and they're like, hey, that's pretty cool. Maybe we want to go look at the flowers. The van begins seeing use in cobs, as you can see. Just to test out, make sure it works. We are definitely expecting success, and you can see we'll expand it to Calgary. After two to three months, so on to six, six months, initial success is definitely expected, and we will rapid expansion of the floral vans route to communities all over Calgary, not just Calgary and Cobbs. Okay, so for risk and mitigations, obviously a risk of any used product is, is failures. So we're going to have someone monthly check out the van, make sure, see if anything's gone wrong or any problems that could happen, and hopefully we'll get on top of them so we can fix them before they actually become an actual problem. And the rising fuel prices due to certain world events, so, so we can't really solve that directly. So instead, we're going to run only, only on holidays like Valentine's Day and Christmas, where we're going to generate the most revenue. So, I mean, the van can run inside the park, but going outside to Calgary, that'll cost a lot of fuel, obviously. So, to maximize revenue, we'll make sure that we only run during those times. To conclude our presentation, we will build a floral van, fill it with flowers, we'll make it look nice, we'll put our advertisement for Cobbs, too, if, since they're our partners, drive through Calgary and its surrounding communities, including Cobbs, to maximize profits as more people will see our products and hopefully flock to our garden center, solving both our primary and secondary issues. Thank you for listening. Um, if you want to view the presentation after, you can use that link in the corner or scan the QR code. And again, I'm Gabriel from Sunshine Consulting. This I'm is Ryder from Sunshine Consulting. I'm Ryan from Sunshine Consulting.